The most frequent question that get asked is what camera do I use and what lens do I use? So in today's video I decided to show you what's in my camera bag, what gear I like to use the most, what I carry with me but just in case but before i start this video i just wanted to say hello and for those who are new here hi and welcome to my channel my name is joanna rominska and i'm a fashion and portrait photographer so let's get started first let's start with the camera bag i have it's a backpack i used to have a shoulder bag but i found them very uncomfortable especially that the gear i carry is quite heavy with the shoulder bag they used to uh, put too much pressure on my shoulder and it used to hurt so I changed to a backpack because it's easier to walk with it, especially that I like to shoot outdoors more often. For me, it is easier to move from location to location with a backpack because all you have to do is just throw it on your back and you're good to go. So this is how my camera bag looks like from the outside. This camera was bought on Amazon. Um, if I find a link to this bag, I will leave it in the description box. This bag is quite old. It's about two, three years old. Okay, so it's not that old. It's two, three years old. The bag has three different pockets. It also has these little pockets on the side, so you can put your water here. Or oh, this one actually is for your tripod. I don't carry my tripod with me because I usually don't need it but if you wanted to put the tripod you can just put the legs here and then you have the strapping thing here you can make it smaller or bigger so um, what I actually use this for is for my reflectors so I just attach my reflector here and carry it with me it's a little bit uncomfortable because it's a circle so it keeps hitting me but um, I also don't like to carry stuff in my hands so I think this is easier <laughs> but anyway um, and there is another one here where I usually carry my water with me also this is how the camera bag looks from the back um, you can actually strap it onto yourself, so um, just for extra support, I guess. Um, it used to have little straps here, but I lost one. Yeah, I lost one thing, but I I, I just carried it like this um, anyway. Um, it's still comfortable for me. So this little pocket is so little that I don't even know if my phone fits there. Maybe let's see. Okay. So my phone fits there and that's about it. I do not carry my phone in there because I am paranoid and I'm scared that someone will just walk from behind, open it and grab it from there. So I usually keep my phone in a safer pocket. Yeah, you can put stuff in here, but it, like I said, it's, my hand barely goes inside there. So it's very, it's a very small uh, pocket. So let's start with this one. Uh, this pocket, this is more for a laptop. A pocket so you see you can put your laptop in here there is space for like your phone you can put your phone here or here I've got a pen here and then you have like a net here as well um, okay so I'll just show you what's in there this is the stuff I have with me so I have earrings um, actually they're there because I think I just took them for just in case when I was having one of the photo shoots I've got one bobby pin, there's probably more but you know how it is with them and a hairband, also just one but I'm sure there is more a CD, this is just for like reflections this doesn't take that much space, it's not heavy so just in case I carry it with me I think I've used it once since I carried this with me but you know just in case uh, it doesn't hurt to carry that I also have tissues, those are very important because you always need them when you don't have them so I carry one, one or two packets with me for just in case um, also a notepad again that doesn't really take that much space and I have space in my camera bag uh, but just in case if I need to drop something down um, I carry it with me now we're gonna move on to the middle part I'm gonna wait for Gizmo to stop eating because I'm sure you can hear him. So now we're gonna move to the best part because obviously there's photo gear in there. Anyway, um, I cannot open it the other way. I need to have the bag laying down just because I don't want my gear to be uh, flying around. Um, anyways, let's start with this one first. So I have two additional pockets here, 
this is like plastic so it looks like a net but it's actually plastic uh, what I carry here with me is a box for my SD cards so I've got the box so also what I carry is this filter and this is a filter for my 35 millimeter Sigma um, lens and what this filter basically does uh, blocks out the sun so if I'm shooting in a harsh uh, light I can make the pictures a bit darker I'm gonna try and show you guys what I mean by that so this uh, actually changes if you rotate the circle thing I don't know what the uh, technical name for it is uh, you can see that it will go darker and lighter and yeah so when I'm shooting in a very harsh uh, sunlight I can help my camera uh, to block out the sun basically also it's good to have filters on your camera so the camera doesn't get scratches now we're moving to this one and this is this one is actually uh, just my cleaning kit this came with the bag so what I have here is some lens cleaning tissues I've got this um, cloth, this pen that has like a little brush on top and then a little brush thingy here so um, to wipe this uh, lens uh, with this and this is for dust so blows out the air and is to clean your equipment from dust so and like I said this came uh, with the camera so I didn't uh, with the camera bag oh, my favorite part and probably all of your guys as well what is in my camera bag here I have spare batteries they usually go in here but I don't have much space here so at the moment they are placed in a bag so go spare batteries it's really important to have spare batteries because your shoot might take longer so you need extra battery or you forget to you charge your camera uh, sorry charge your battery and if you have an extra one there is a bigger chance that maybe one of them will have some power in them so it's good to have spare battery anyway it's a little bit of a mess in here at the moment let's start with the least gear that i use so i carry with me this 50 millimeter 1.4 lens this is a nikon lens and i used to love shooting with 50 millimeter lens but I do love a wider angle these days but it still it takes amazing portraits I like to carry this with me because you never know maybe I just wanna change it up a little bit and shoot some portraits so I carry that with me I also carry with me an 85 millimeter 1.8 lens this is actually quite a new addition to my collection as I got it before no I think I got it in October or November it takes amazing pictures uh, but also again it's for portrait you have to stand quite far away from your subject like a model um, but yeah it takes amazing pictures uh, I need to use this one a little bit more because uh, yeah it, the blur is amazing with this lens but so basically the 50 millimeter and 85 are both lenses that I carry with me but I least used and also this is a Nikon lens again as well um, I'm not sure if I mentioned that and okay so the lens that i love using the most is my sigma lens and that's a 35 millimeter 1.4 lens i love this lens because it gives me a wide angle Um, so before i i've got a lens that i really want to get but unfortunately it's so expensive that i need to first save up some money to get it but anyway at the moment this is the lens i keep using i love it and it's a great lens it takes amazing pictures that's in my opinion and it's a bit heavy but it's really good it's a really good lens and the camera that I use is my Nikon D810 and I've got this camera about two years ago it will be almost free soon this is a full frame camera i don't know what else i can say i don't remember how many megapixels this camera has so this is another lens that i don't actually carry with me and this is this lens it's a sigma lens again and this is 105 
macro lens so why do i have this lens this is more for beauty so i always keep this lens at home because obviously i would shoot beauty at home i don't need a 105 millimeter lens outside i think uh, it would be just too much to carry with me as well um, and like i said i prefer the wider angle so i love to shoot with the 35 this one is just i would have to stand so far from the model that it would be even hard to direct her during the shoot so also what i like to carry with me in my bag is this prism so here we go prism this gives a really cool effect in the pictures like a rainbow effect if it's sunny i don't know if you can see anything here but it's a really cool thing to have with you on the shoot as well so yeah i carry this with me and that's basically all i carry um in my camera bag but i also wanted to mention reflectors if you have a friend with you or if you're working with a bigger team you can always ask someone to help you out and uh, shine the light on model space this is i love this um but sometimes it's hard to use this if you don't have an extra pair of hands to help you with this especially when it's windy it's harder for you to hold the reflectors and hold the camera and also my camera like i said the lens is a little bit heavy the 35 millimeter lens and my camera is it's not that heavy but when you attach the lens to the camera it gets heavier so it's hard to hold a reflector in one hand and a camera in the other and then shoot and then also change the focus points so it is better to have an extra pair of hands with you but yeah um, these are not that expensive i suggest you to get them because they are lifesavers okay i'm gonna open it and pray to god that i'm not gonna hit my face I survived anyway so this is how it looks more or less this has a zip here so you can change the sides you can have a gold side and then obviously you can take this off completely and just use the white side here it's good to have this you've got different sizes and so that's what I carry with me. I carry reflectors, my camera bag and all the stuff that I have in my camera bag. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or suggestions for the next video, please leave them down below in the comment section. Links to the gear I have showed today in this video, I will leave them down in the description box. So make sure you check them out. And thank you again for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye now.